Hello friends, in this video we will perform the benzoin condensation reaction of benzaldehyde to form benzoin. Benzoin is an organic compound that is a hydroxy ketone with two phenyl groups formed by the condensation of two molecules of benzaldehyde. This reaction is called benzoin condensation is classically catalyzed by cyanide salts. You can also use compounds like thiamine. Materials required include 3.55 grams of thiamine hydrochloride, 35 milliliters of 96% ethyl alcohol, 7 milliliters of 3 molar sodium hydroxide solution and 20 milliliters of benzaldehyde. Start by clamping a 100 milliliter round bottom flask onto a stand. Then we add the pre-weighed 3.55 grams of thiamine hydrochloride. Instead of directly using the pure chemical compound, you can of course try using the vitamin B1 supplements. But since this video is also for academic purposes, I am using the pure salt. Now add 8 milliliters of distilled water to the thiamine in order to dissolve it. The compound is pretty well soluble in water. You can use a glass stirring rod or preferably a magnetic stirrer to dissolve the compound completely in the water. Next we add 35 milliliters of 95% ethyl alcohol. This is required in the subsequent steps for solubilizing benzaldehyde which will aid in easy reaction later on. After mixing well we are left with a clear solution. Now place the flask in an ice bath to cool to 0 degrees Celsius. Meanwhile prepare a sodium hydroxide solution of 3 molar concentration. Then cool that solution. Take 8 milliliters of that solution in a measuring cylinder. Now, with the help of a glass dropper, slowly add the compound drop by drop into the cooled flask. Agitate the contents of the flask vigorously while adding the base. A yellow colored solution is gradually formed. What is happening here is sodium hydroxide attacking the thiamine and deprotonating it. There is formation of a carbene which is very reactive. Now we take 20 milliliters of freshly distilled benzaldehyde in a separatory funnel and then clamp it on top of this flask. Slowly turn the knob of the funnel so that benzaldehyde falls slowly dropwise to the flask. Agitate the contents of the flask during the whole time of the addition. What is happening here is a nucleophilic attack of benzaldehyde by the deprotonated thiamine that is the reactive carbine intermediate. It will form an intermediate, then there is an intramolecular hydrogen transfer taking place and then it combines with another molecule of benzaldehyde. Finally the product hydrolyzes and then rearranges to form the final product benzoin and the deprotonated thiamine is regenerated. Since thiamine is not consumed in this reaction, it is acting as a catalyst. The reaction in room temperature takes around 24 hours or more to complete. But if we raise the temperature, reaction proceeds very fast. So we warm the contents of the flask in a water bath at 60 degrees Celsius for about 90 minutes. Care should be taken not to overheat the flask as thiamine is very sensitive to heat and can easily decompose in higher temperatures. After about one hour, already the crude crystals of benzoin has started to appear. Continue heating the flask for the remaining 30 minutes to ensure complete reaction. After 90 minutes, take out the flask from the water bath and let it sit in room temperature to cool down slowly. This will cause more crystals to separate out.
After cooling down to room temperature, we place the flask in an ice bath to completely crystallize out the crude product. Now a simple filtration was set up and the contents of the flask was poured into the filter paper. After a few minutes, we are left with some nice crude benzoin crystals which has a yellowish discoloration in it. Next, we recrystallize the compound from hot ethyl alcohol. In order to reduce the color, you can add some activated carbon. I added about 0.5 grams of it. The solution should be filtered while it is very hot to prevent crystallization from taking place in the funnel. Even though I tried, it did crystallize out a lot in the funnel. So I used some warm ethyl alcohol and washed down the funnel and the filter paper. The solution was then cooled and much more purer crystals of benzoin separates out. It was then filtered a second time, washed with a mixture of ethanol and water and was dried. I obtained a total of around 9.3 grams which represents roughly 23% yield. Which is not pretty bad considering the fact that we are not messing around with the cyanide salt. I would like to take this opportunity to thank my Patreon supporters who have financially supported me so that I could get the materials required for doing all these experiments. Thank you so much for watching this video. Do hit the subscribe button and the bell button if you loved my contents. You can join my discord server and my Patreon account to see more about what is happening around in my lab. Thank you.